Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and quick review of this Victorian Swiss Army knife, it's a pocket knife, it's the it's called the Mini Champ. It has a little bit more functionality than the classic SD Mini Knife or I think it's called the SD Pocket Knife which I had for a couple of years. It was really good but a few things were really missing here and I thought yeah okay why not to switch or like upgrade to the larger brother or sister the mini champ which is still very small but already has a few more things and i want to compare this now so you can see the size so from here it's ex uh, yeah it's exactly the same but you see it has about almost the double uh, height and of course from the weight it's a little bit more it's i think it has a bit uh, about double or almost three times the weight but still it's one of the most lightweight pocket knives and uh, yeah it's really nice as you can see i mean victorian Knox, they have been around since about 100 years or even more and they deliver steady quality worldwide and they they don't change a lot i mean they already have this really great quality when you when it goes to pocket knives i mean the biggest competitor is i think the gerber knives and i have tried it already one was really good now i have bought a new one and it completely failed so i thought i'm going i'm going back to the victorinox which has never disappointed so here we get the tweezers which is really nice it's much superior than the gerber uh, tweezers it has quite some tension here you can really uh, use that uh, that's a good thing and it is rounded if somebody looks from gerber uh, company yeah if you do that for the next knife Please make sure that you have this rounded like the Victorinox. I don't understand why you can't do that. It's still possible to easily remove. This is how it should be and not like the Gerber. So what we have as well is, I think on the other side, yeah, we have this pen here. We can push it out and yeah, let's see if this works yeah really nice high quality pen this is a pressure ball point pen and it works absolutely great and we can pull it back a little bit get used i think we have to push it down or push it in can't even remember yeah push it in a little bit and then you can pull it back so here we get one thing which we don't have here on the classic SD. So I'm going to show you everything on this classic SD. The great thing here also on this knife is that everything works. There are no blades which are not working. Also the sanding tool, the screwdriver, everything is really working. The bad thing here is the tweezers which I have replaced. I have switched <laughs> the good one from the Victorinox to the Gerber tool and now I lost the Gerber tool now I am stuck with the bad one from the Gerber here in the Victorinox knife that was also a reason why I switched um, yeah I bought a new one from here also the scissors scissors they have a great reputation on the Victorinox the scissors on the Gerber Gerber uh tool is yeah i mean uh, it, it, it's absolutely nothing to compare to this this really cuts uh strong the gerber scissors uh doesn't uh, yeah it, it it hardly uh cuts yeah here you can definitely see and even more feel that this thing is really really super sharp and i can show you that here you can even go uh, through a paper as you can see yeah i mean it is really razor sharp 
So let's see if we can also easily open a package. And yeah, it seems a little bit more difficult, like with the Gerber one. I had actually the impression that it's quite sharp, or maybe not in the corner here. Or maybe that was just special thing. Yeah, it's a little bit more difficult. The problem is that it's like a hook. The Gerber is a little bit like in this direction. So sometimes this gets a little bit caught. It works. I mean, it still works. I mean, I like it that uh, I don't have the risk to really cut something inside the package, but it's it's a little bit more difficult. So let's try with a basic envelope. Maybe it works better here. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah. So actually all the cuts stay in the front and don't go to the back, which is absolutely as intended. What's also a huge difference compared to other mini tools or especially to the Gerber tool, which is in a si uh, about same price range, the sanding uh, blade, the file here, this is something you can really use for your nails or uh, something else. This is really working. The one from Gerber tool, is uh, like useless it's, it's basically useless it doesn't do anything and as you have been able to see you can easily open all the blades you don't need a screwdriver or a pen or whatsoever to open this this is super super easy to open and close it's so much easier than the Gerber tool yeah, here the most complicated one is the pen, which is on the side, but, but you will definitely get used to that. It's not a really big deal, but uh, still a really good solution, solid uh, knife, definitely. I think this is for the nails, uh, some kind of manicure, I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, they have this, I mean, I like to have maybe something different, but... I'm not complaining. Most of the things are really useful. We have many, many blades here on this really small tool here, as you can see. The comparison between the Mini SD and the Mini Champ, as you can see, it's a huge difference. I mean, so many different tools. Of course, we have here the uh, toothpick and the yeah thing as well the tweezers yeah I haven't sh yeah here we have the tweezers as well so this is everything what we have here this is about uh, 28 dollars I think this can you can buy for 15 dollars I mean it's a huge difference especially uh, what I like the pen what we have then here the measuring tool you can see that nice measuring tool here and we have this hook we can even use that to cut uh, like boxes cardboards and so on we have a much better uh, screwdriver here as well we have an additional blade here and yeah there are quite some extra blades here and it's uh, not much bigger. I mean, I think it's definitely worth to go with this one if you just need some for really rare occasions to cut something every now and then you can go with this one but I highly recommend to go with this one and I'll put down the link to both of them into the description so you can check them out, order them right from there if you like them. I mean, for me, makes absolutely sense. This is so good quality i mean you can really feel it's really uh high quality steel it has been around for so long time and i would say almost never changed the quality and i expect a really long lifetime also from this one 
as I had from the old ones. I just lost one of these ones, which is really sad. I think it's one of the per uh, most perfect combinations when it comes to real mini tools. Of course, you can buy bigger tools which have more things, but when it comes to mini tool, I think this is the king of the mini tools, something which you can uh, keep wearing in your pocket the whole day all the time and you won't even notice that you have something like this a really great tool in your pocket so that's it for now i hope i was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time